I have with me today Nelson Coates, the president of the Art Directors Guild, and he's also nominated for that morning show. Nelson, talk to me. Tell me what it's like working on the morning show. I know you work with Mimi Leader, and I know Mimi is a phenomenal producer director. Talk to me about the experience on this show, what you love about it. I doubt you hate anything about it, but just tell me what you want to say. Working with Mimi Leader as producing director on The Morning Show is just a dream. She and I have been collaborating for over 18 years on so many different things and uh, features and television. And it, we have a shorthand, and so it makes it really great when we're trying to uh, come up with story ideas and things to pitch to the uh, uh, team of writers. Uh, we had a new showrunner this year, Charlotte Strode, who is just off the hook uh, and doing amazing ideas and and she would throw the gauntlet down of I think we should go to space in this season and you're like okay let's do it and so all of a sudden you're designing you know space capsules and rockets and and a whole aerodynamic thing and and literally 75 percent of the work this year is new to this season it's very exciting that no matter what they throw at me they challenge and support uh, all of the work of my team. And of course, Jen and Reese and Billy, and this season, John Hamm, and just so great collaborators. Really, really super fun to design spaces for them and to be involved in telling their stories. It's great. Well, you know, every show that has a great cast deserves a set that, that deserves great sets because the sets are the environment. I'm an actor too. And the, the sets bring us to life. And I love the sets that you've created on that show. And uh, what's your inspiration for them? Well, I really want to get an insider's view of New York into this story and to expand to uh, little bits and pieces and pockets of the city that you might not have ever seen or recognized, but to really give it a history and depth. So I've been really pushing for new neighborhoods. Like we moved Bradley into a loft that I actually built on stage at Sony, but it looks like it's in Tribeca and uh, used the exterior of an 1884 Mercantile Exchange building as the inspiration for that, uh, but created the whole inside from scratch. And, and people are so surprised to find out that that's actually on stage. And yet at the same time, we did things in Coney Island, but the Coney Island sequence is partially done in LA. It's, it's super fun to like, really mess with everyone's perception of what really is New York and to see how far I can stretch LA to look like New York. And, and it's, it's really gratifying to have these challenges and uh, be given the support to actually execute them. Well, I gotta tell you, I myself had no idea that part of that was literally on a soundstage at Sony. So it's an incredible set. I love this show. I wish you the best of luck Thank tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Good luck.